Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, in today's video we're going to be showing you how to get PCM 5.1 and 7.1 working on Windows 10 and 11. Don't be fooled, this is Windows 11. Fuck you Microsoft for forcefully updating me, fuck you right in the ass. I hate Windows at this point, I'm not going to bitch on you about Linux. Anyway, um, so how do we get PCM working and what is PCM? Well, PCM stands for Pulse Code Modulation. And why would we want to use it? Well, DTS and W Digital, the tutorials on my channel, all use compressed surround sound. As compress the bit rate of the audio tracks to be able to fit it uh, through a narrow pipe, thinking like that, all right? Because optical only has so much bandwidth and older generations of HDMI using ARC only have so much bandwidth as well. And basically, PCM is purely uncompressed audio, so it sounds significantly better. It sounds as good as your EVR can produce, basically. So how do we get this working? Or well, I've tried to get this working in the past, but it never worked. Well, it's actually really, really simple. And it's sad that it's so simple. So first of all, we're going to turn our EVR on, all right, and then we're going to plug a HD. Fuck me, sorry, Mister Keyboard. I'm so sorry. We're going to plug a HDMI cable, right, directly into a input on the back of our AVR, say a game or DVD or one of these. And once that's done, you quite literally just plug it into your GPU, right, a direct input. Once the display has been detected, we're going to go to the control panel. We're going to come down to sound. And then we're going to click on our AVR. For example, I'm using Amaranth's AVR. And now, when we go to configure, we have all these extra options because it's actually using the full bandwidth for sound. And we can have 5.1. 5.1 side and 5.1 rear and then full 7.1 and it also allows you to use DTSX and Dolby Atmos. So I have a 7.1 surround sound system so I'm going to select that and as you can see right now my AVR is showing stereo right so if I now click test you can see it switched to M for PCM and it switched to 7.1. So then if I change that <coughs> to 5.1, we can have 5.1 coming through it. Uh, just to prove it is working, here is my side speaker. And here is my front left speaker. All right, and that's my center. And uh, there's my rear. Okay. So, uh, as you can see, we now have 7.1. And if I, uh, sorry, 5.1. Now, if I test in 5.1 mode, instead of saying uh, 7.1, it will say multi channel. Multi channel in. All right. Man, that's right. That's literally how simple it is to get it all working. Takes minutes. Now, some people might not like the fact that um, you have to take up your AVR in one of your precious HDMI ports. Um, and then have to see one of your monitors through your AVR's output. It's not really an issue with modern AVRs because they can handle high refresh rates and HDR. Mine has exactly that issue. And what do I mean by that? Well, my AVR doesn't support HDR and it doesn't support HDCP copy protection. So the best way to get around this, especially if you're using our older AV receiver with Android TV box as well, like I am right there, is to use a HDMI splitter. Now, what does the HDMI splitter do? Well, 
it says a lot right on it. This allows the bypassing of HDCP copy protection 2.2. It allows to scale one HDMI output to a different resolution, and it allows HDR pass through as well, along with surround sound too. So using this, we can copy the video from this. It will send it up to your device with ARC and HDCP copy protection support. It will send the encryption key to the other display and allow that to output at the same time simultaneously with the same exact image, allowing your AVR to get full <coughs> Dolby True HD or whatever codec you're using or whatever your setup is using without any connectivity issues between them. It's really quite literally that simple. And uh, yeah, I hope this really helped you guys. And um, god damn, I need to clear my AVR. I just need to take it apart and fix the relay switch because the only reason it's working is because it's led on its slide like this. Fucking hell, the dust. All right, lads, have a good one. If you like, please like and subscribe. If you want to donate to the channel to keep me fucking doing crazy shit like this, then send me some money. And um, <coughs> if you guys want to see a surround sound tour in my home setup, just let me know. I'll be making a video on that. I'll make a full video on using HDMI splitters as well. Have a good one, boys.